Apparently, you follow a religion which is not Christianity. So why would you even read the Jesus Code, right? And the Crucifixion Code. Well, here's the big reason. Within, as I understand it, every religious tradition worth talking about, within that, there is this idea of the mystic path, that there is an inner spiritual path that you can follow that leads to inner transformation. So, for instance, in the Muslim religion, there is the Sufi path, and there are gigantic figures such as Mansur al Halaj, you know, who said some unbelievable things, and he's quoted in the book. And I also quote things from the Upanishads and from a pagan mystic called Plotinus. So, I draw on many, many different traditions and also Christian mystics, to make clear what the true path of inner transformation is that, that, in a sense, goes under and through all religions. So if you are of a different religion from Christianity, I want you to think about the mystics and the mystic tradition within your religion, the one that talks about inner transformation and not faith, but just transforming, and I, I guarantee if you're at all interested or open-minded about what the inner path of transformation is, the mystic, mystic path, you will get a lot out of this book because it makes it extremely clear what that path is and what it leads to. I hope you'll join me on the journey.